So this has been my most requested video in terms of yield farming. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the whole process. I'm going to show you how to find the pool that's profitable, deposit your money, and we're also going to find other ones that you can actually might you you might be able to make better in theory. So they might be not maximizing potential. So I'm going to show you how to maximize potential. Now I saw on this one called build last night. So I made this pool as an example, and we've earned $87 in fees, and I think the price went up as well when I exited at the right point. I've still got some in here, so I've got about $7,000, and we've earned $163, and we, we've got some yield that's coming in. So what I do is I just claim the fees, I either keep it in my wallet, or I just deposit into here like this, like so. Now this has a very low gas cost, and this is the strategy I use. So I tend to get a good entry on a position, like I did up here, and then I yield farm it. So this one I added just Solana. We're gonna go through everything shortly, but in terms of the first thing you wanna do when you're looking for pools, let's say, I think I've got $1,000 over here. I've got roughly $1,000. So no matter what you're playing with, what you wanna do is go to pools, and the first thing you wanna do is look at what is currently trending. So it's sorted by volume. So in theory, Solana USDC, we can check the yields. Roughly speaking, these might fluctuate up and down. Now, I'll talk about bin step and fee later on, but in theory, we can earn 0 0.83, which will be about $8.30 per day off $1,000. Not too great, not too bad if Solana's price does go up. That's the only benefit of it, and it's quite a safe one. So I saw this pool called Swarm. Swarm looks like it's doing pretty well in terms of an entry. So we might have a look here. So this is the Swarm pool. You can see what the first thing I look at is what's the ratio between liquidity and volume. So the liquidity is 60 times, basically, maybe 70 times, actually, more than its liquidity volume. That means, I mean, I should look on the main actual pool. But in theory, that means this pool has a, a need for liquidity. It should be really half or even less. So that means there's a demand. You can see the transactional amount, 46,000 transactions, a lot of makers, etc. So I might put some money in here. You've got two options. First thing I want you to do is look at the chart. Is this a buy opportunity or is this a sell opportunity? For me, I'm not sure. So what I would do is I would take the contract where we're, we're already in the pool and I would go add liquidity. So I'm going to add 6.5 Solana. Just Solana I'm going to add for this one. If I wanted, I would buy half Swarm, but I'm predicting this might drop in value. So I'm going to just wait a bit, put it on the one minute chart. And what this will do, this will give us a range now. So if nothing happens or the price starts to go up, then in theory, nothing will happen to our Solana. And this is the strategy I use. So we've entered here at roughly, where does it say? 0 0.17. So I will mark 0 0.17 here as an example, roughly speaking. So that's my entry point. If it dips below that, I will start to earn a yield. If it goes above that, I don't earn anything. So that's one of the safer strategies I use, and it's probably done me very well. So you can see we've earned 10 cents here, but we're back over the price. So 0 0.1708, and the price is exactly that. Now we do have a lower range of 0 0.14, where I'm just quickly showing you what I do. 0. What was it? One for roughly speaking, it's around here. So that's our range for now. We're very low risk in terms of if Solana just stays the same or the price stays goes up, nothing will happen. But if we start to fall within this range, we will earn fees. Now what we want it to do is to go down sideways and then shoot up. Because all that yield will accumulate, and this is quite a high yield pool, we would earn in fees. So this is the good thing about this. Now, if I thought to myself, okay, this looks like the floor. This could potentially be a good entry, 300. In, in my opinion, for Swarm, I know this token, it would be a good entry. So I would do half and half. 
so what I would do is let's remove this as an example. So if you want to just withdraw the pool, we'd withdraw and close out our position. Now what we want to do is load up dupe. I tend to buy with a trading bot and then I send it out to my wallet. So what we're going to do is, yeah, it's withdrawn. We're going to take the contract of Swarm. And let's say again, it's a good entry. So I want to buy, so I've got 6.7 Solana. So let's say I want to buy 3.2 Solana. Now I want you to record what you're buying so you can keep track of your profit and loss. So we're buying half of our Swarm now. And then we're going to deposit into the same pool half and there's 3.2 like so i always leave a bit of solana in there now we've got a six percent and a seven percent each way that will be our range but we're going to deposit it here and we're going to see so the price might have changed i should have refreshed the page however fingers crossed we should do well now we start to earn straight away of every single transaction that comes through Again, I want you to be aware of your range and your entry. So I usually take a screenshot of this and then keep it. So we've got 1,258 in there and we're earning some fees on this. Now what I tend to do, like I said, is I move my ranges now. So it's not really a massive range. But again, it's a high yield pool, lots of transactions. So this is a pool you typically don't put $1,000 in, you put $10,000 in. And then I just adjust my range like so, wherever it was. So now we have to be aware that if it stays in this range, we're going to earn a fee. Fingers crossed it just goes sideways for hours and then shoots up afterwards and we can exit the pool. But really and truly, you could do the maths on this. So we've got roughly $1,000 deposited. And this pool generates, on an average, 24-hour fee. So 16% of 1200 is about $200. So not bad, not great, but not fantastically bad in theory. Now the other option is these are typically pools that are high TVL. The money is really made when you find positions where the token itself isn't doing, is just starting to pick up. These are already established. Swarm, possibly I'm betting on this one called build. Let's have a look at my build position. I think I've got about $7,000 or something like that in there. And we've got a slight position on build now, which is, I think I put about $7,000. Yeah, it was about $7,000. Now we're earning some fees on this and we got a much larger range on build because what I've done is I've set a bin step, quite a large one, but a low fee because I want loads of transactions. I want to compound heavily into that. So I could just claim my Solana now Either keep it, use it for gas, whatever, or put it back into the pool, which I tend to do. So here's another option, what we've got. So we can open up Dex Screener, and we can find things that are high in volume. For example, this one, I don't know what it is, but we can have a look. And then what I tend to do, I mean, I've just sorted by volume. This could be a scam, this could be, I don't know. 32 mil again look at the liquidity and look at the volume so it's a hundred times the volume now so i want to i'm very curious to see what this pool is yielding because don't forget this one is quite a new token so this one is higher risk and it's yielding really really good so this is an 80 step fee this one will probably be the best pool to put it in actually or this one actually for long term so it's generating 40 percent 60 percent 70 percent on these pools sometimes you might see numbers like this but there's no tvl so let's say for example we found this pool and we really like it we want to yield farm it what i would do is create a pool and i'm just going to withdraw my um let's have a look i'm going to withdraw my Actually, we won't because I don't even know what this token is. Anyway, so if you wanted to start a pool, what you could do is put the contract in. Let's say, for example, here. Into the base. So whatever token you're interested in, you can have a look on here and you can sort out your base fee. So there was a 0 0.81, 
So you might want to go 0 0.6. Now, I'm not saying undercut, but just your pool is more likely to get used. But if you're starting a pool on a market cap of this size, I would highly recommend you put more than $1,000 because the pool will just be a waste of yield. You won't maximize the yield. Really and truly, like I, I started that pool on build and I put $7,000. I put 8000 because I put two pools. So you really and truly, you've got to put a lot more. So let's say you wanted to. However, you can go all the way up to 5%. So I would do 5% if you're doing a low amount of cash, but you must see how the token is evolving and what the demand is. Right now, it's about volatility. Is it going to drop down? That's the type of thing. So for here, I would just put Solana because I think it's going to fall off. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's quite cheap to make a pull in here, but this is giving you a brief overview. Now, I want to show you the really, really high risk part of yield farming which if you have a low balance you can actually do very well so you want to find tokens that have really really high volume in a short space of time and that might be because the token's just launched it might just be because the token is doing well etc and this is where you can find you can put in a hundred dollars and pull out three four hundred dollars in a few hours if you do it right it takes practice I haven't got time to go into the whole concept of what you're doing because that's a totally new video. So we've got the last five minutes sorted by volume. What is doing the highest volume at the moment? Because we've seen like Swarm, this Cat1 or whatever, Cat G, is up there. But these ones like Momentum, Momentus, Proxima, stuff like that. So let's look at this one as an example. I don't know what it is. And it's going up. So you might want to put just the Lana in here. So if it falls down, you might do your range here, for example. So you can kind of catch that. So the volume, again, the liquidity to volume is quite high as well. And we're going to look at if there is another pool. Let's have a look. As an example, we've got, we put our contract in here. We want to see the pools. So there are two pools. There's one extra on Radium and there's two on Meteora. You could have also alternatively searched on Meteora on here. So just as an example, we're going to look at this pool. Bear in mind, this is a high risk token. So the TVO is quite large on one of these, but they have a 5% max. So let's look at this one. It was, it's a 5%. I don't know when it was made, but it's generated $182 off a very, very small amount of liquidity. So 4,000, roughly it might have even been $2,000. This, we can have a look at the pool here, just to see the frequency. So bear in mind, this is a very high fee pool. This is 5%. So each of these transactions is charging 5%. And it's a very new pool. It's been established, what, 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago? So this person is making possibly 1000 per day if this token survives and it stays in range. It's a really, really good one on this. The bid step is 100 at 5% fee. Crazy amounts, in, in all honesty. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let's take a look at our, our little pool. See how we're doing on Swarm. If we made a dollar. Yeah, we made $2 on Swarm. So I can't remember what we put in. We might be slightly down. But we're not down a lot because we're still in range. And you can have a look. So we're back in the middle still. Ideally, we want it to go up slightly. And then we'll earn profits on our yield. And we'll also earn profits on if Solana goes up as well. So there's a lot of potential here. We're earning 30% on this pool, which is really good. So that's about 300, over $300 a day. If we stay in range, yield farming is not totally passive. You really got to keep an eye on it. And I'll give you an example. When I put $7,000 into this pool, it went down to like $6,000 and I was like, oh, I've lost $1,000. So if you don't look at what you're doing and you don't research the token and you don't have a look, uh, chances are I might lose all of this. But that's not a problem. This is money I can afford to lose. And I'm just looking to make a yield on it and see how it goes. So I keep a track of this. You can see here this $200 ended up being 70 cents or 20 cents or something. There's probably another sell from there. So you can sit here all day, earn a passive income, Definitely, I'm earning more than most people earn on their hourly wage. Fingers crossed we can keep in range. And what I do is I just claim the fees and I keep compounding until I'm ready to exit. And it also helps protect you when the price falls. If you have any questions, 
get in touch with me on Telegram, follow my channel. I've got private groups you can join as well. All the best and take care.